majority of the narrative of the Bosch books are told from Harry's perspective. I mean, you pretty much stay with Harry. Um, it might be my imagination, but it seems like since the TV show where you're forced to show other perspectives, that some of the latter Bosch books kind of have played around a little bit with other points of view. Is it, did that TV show impact your, your books that way or, or is that my imagination? No, I think that's a direct impact from the, the show. Um, you know, when we were making the show, the showrunner, Eric Obermeyer, who's the creative boss of the show said, you know, we have to spread the storytelling out. Uh, just because of the basic fact we can't have the actor, whoever is going to be Harry Bosch, we can't have him working 16 hours a day, five days a week. You're going to we'll kill the guy. Yeah. So we have to spread the story out. And so that's why. And so we started doing that in the show and we gave a character like Edgar, who is, you know, almost forgotten in the books, very transparent, so one dimensional in the books. And he is a pretty full um, uh, rendition in the, um, in the, in the show. Um, we really build an interesting, I think, and full character out of him. And, and that came out of, you know, this is how you do television, you spread the storytelling out. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm supposed, I'm, as a writer, I should be a sieve. Uh, you know, inspiration comes from all directions. And I think that has certainly influenced me. So, you know, you have Ballard and Bosch working together. Um, a more recent book had Ballard and Bosch and Haller in it. You know, so I'm spreading the story telling out in my books as well hmm. has there been any other impact on of the show on your writing that you that you were conscious of um i'm probably thinking more visually when i'm writing the books um hmm. you know you to me it was a hard transition from going from uh, writing books for at least 20 years to when i started being very much involved in the writing of the show and, and the creation of the show. And, you know, I was so used to that element of being inside Harry Bosch's head, which you lose immediately as soon as you start writing scripts. You, you just don't, you can't put in what someone's thinking because it doesn't show up on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> it's what they're doing and what mm -hmm. they're saying. And, and so those muscles, I think, start building because, because that's what you have to rely on. And, and I think that, again, comes back to the book writing, where I'm thinking more visually, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, Bosch is not too sedentary, he's, he's on the move a lot, and of course, you know, I've always thought dialogue was extremely important, so it's not like I was giving dialogue short shrift before, but I think I, I you know, hit it with a hammer even more since I've been working on the show because so much about it is dialogue. Uh -huh.